Hello ladies and gentlemen, you watching the Kevin Sullivan channel. Thanks for watching my channel. This video, the topic will be, don't let narcissists fool you by the zodiac sign. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is what happened to me. I got fooled by a narcissist that um, I dealt with for many years. And what fooled me about them is that I uh, was all of, I, I was the reading, I was educated on their zodiac sign. And so by me um, going off how to deal with this person, about you know their zodiac sign and you know uh, explain their temperament and the characteristics and the ways of the ways of uh of, of that zodiac sign which was she was a gemini so i'm going off of her sign as her zodiac sign as being a gemini determine her character her true character and you know the situation of me being in it and one thing about Gemini is that the zodiac sign of a Gemini, their ways explains the ways of a narcissist. So a Gemini, their zodiac sign explains them as, and their traits is are the same as a narcissist would be. You know, so sociopath, psychopath too. So that's what I was going off of. And that's what kept me in a relationship with her for so long and dealing with the way it was and dealing with the treatment and you know, the things that I was dealing with. That was one of the reasons, there was a few more, but that was like one of the main ones because all I kept, all I kept saying to myself and thinking about was that, well, she's a Gemini, they're two-faced it. That's just them, it don't mean nothing she's not really two-faced or really a bad person like that she can't help it so it kind of gave her a pass or okay to be two-faced like you know yeah you could do this be two-faced it's cool you're a gemini that's your sign hmm? another one was that you know they are this way one way and then one way the next day you know you know you know it, 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 it's, it's two sides of them they're twin you know, um, they, they, they one way this way, you know, they nice to you and then they mean to you. So, you know, they're nice to you, then they mean to you. So I was like, well, that's okay too, because you're a Gemini. That's your sign. That's your traits. It's cool. I can deal with this. What? So ladies and gentlemen, with that made the relationship and made my life like dealing with her was like, me walking on eggshells, me, I mean, just, oh, so tiring of me saying, okay, accepting these things of her being a Gemini and her traits of being a Gemini, it made me accept who she was. All the 2% good and the rest 98% negative of being in a relationship and dealing with her. It made me accept it and think it was cool and didn't think it was narcissistic, sociopath, or psychopath, or her just being a toxic person, an evil, no good person. And making excuses uh, for her to be this way, and it's not her fault, and she doesn't mean it. She can't help it. She can't control it. Not to, not to mention all the backstabbing that she did. Also, was said that they are backstabbers. So... Me, her, the backstabbing she was doing, all the lying, the cheat, and the, you know, uh, the risky behavior, uh, being very impulsive, going off in posts, all these things I was dealing with because one of the main reasons because, well, that's her zodiac sign. That's who she is. She was born this way. You can't help it, you know? So it's acceptable. I just have to deal with it and you know, hey, all the things that I liked her for, all those things that really didn't mean nothing when it really came down to it, which I know now, I use those reasons as, okay, well, I like this about her, I like that about her, I like that about her, but I don't like all the rest of the other stuff. So me accepting her Zodiac sign made me accept the small little three two percent stuff that doesn't really matter 
So what that do was made me, like I said, be on eight shows. You know, I'm tiptoeing around. It's like I'm in the matrix. I'm dodging, doing this. I'm moving this. I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm dodging this. Okay, don't say this at this time. Wait, don't do this. Okay, uh, you know everything. Uh, okay, okay, okay. She coming to see me, but I gotta stay on the phone with her for two hours while she get ready and on her way to come see me. Hmm. And that's just an example of things I was putting up with. It was just, you know, it was all type of stuff that because of that, which is very dangerous. So, ladies and gentlemen, please don't do that. Please don't go by a society saying, you know, a person this way because they zodiac sign and everything is okay. And you're supposed to deal with it and put up with it because it's not realistic and it's not true that a person ain't a bad person because of what you see as what it says about them in a zodiac sign like for instance uh the zodiac sign that i am it says that you know are very independent very very independent people which is true but i can't be so independent to where i don't ask for help or receive help when i really need it you know which would be you know which is detriment to my future independent is a good thing but it comes a time where you i do will i do need help and will need help and i need to accept that and take the help to get me to where i need to go in life and one thing i noticed about society ladies and gentlemen we really determine our relationships based on zodiac signs i see it all the time and people talk about it in conversations and all over social media that people is have this big thing about people all the zodiac signs this determine they let zodiac signs determine what person that they want to be with deal with you know and what they could benefit from that zodiac sign and this is not realistic at all and this is something that you should not do is choose somebody because of their zodiac sign so and, and listen to this example my sign says that you know i'm independent right i'm very independent which is true but i'm pretty sure it's other zodiac signs that doesn't say that the the, the good thing one of the good things about them is that they independent and that zodiac sign is very independent so you get what i'm saying it's not it's not wise to determine who to pick as your friend who to pick as you know your wife your soulmate you know uh uh the person to have kids with that it's not right to do that and it's not realistic and it's not wise to do that you just can't do that it's not safe because one thing i know about a lot of narcissists that that i dealt with they are all the same i know um i believe me i know millions of narcissists and that with narcissistic abuse all my life that's why i'm making these videos is that no matter the zodiac sign they are all the same they are all the same the zodiac signs does not matter when it comes down to narcissists sociopaths psychopaths and toxic people it don't it don't matter it matter no matter what they did but I'm not a person who will take anything from anybody or put up with anything for anybody. And I'm not afraid to tell people when they're wrong. So me doing that and saying stuff, you know, I'm saying stuff and complaining and going through all the emotions and, you know, having the same talks and saying the same stuff about certain stuff that, you know, I'm accepting because of the Zodiac sign, which is not right. Um, it's going in one ear and going out the other. And then what I do, just stay around, stick, stay around stick along and just keep dealing with it and put up with it and it made no sense i'm just running around the same mountain we're going in the same circle chasing my own tail just keep going around nothing's changing i'm complaining about it i don't like it it's wrong but hey it's the zodiac sign hey then all the time me trying to you know work around it well let me not do this let me do let me do this let me say yes to everything well let me um let me change let let let, let all of, i'm losing my mind trying to be this perfect person none of it worked none of it worked you, you can't change yourself with people and go around about who they really are uh to the you know to 
it, you focus, I'm focused all on her and I'm not even focused on me and I'm not really getting nothing. So don't do it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this video was inf and you know informative for you guys and it helped some of you guys who might have went through this as well. So ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't, subscribe to my new channel, Kevin Sullivan Live. You could subscribe to that channel by going to this home page and at the top of the home page on at the right hand corner you will see a YouTube button click that button and that's the link so you can subscribe and hit the not notification bell to my uh, new channel Kevin Sullivan Live which I will be doing all my live videos there and also if you have it and would like to make sure you subscribe to this channel excuse me and also hit the notification bell so you know exactly when I'm loading up videos for those who would like to who like my videos and you know will say hey you know you might like to do one-on-one -on -one phone sessions with me or via uh, Skype video chat sessions with me um, let me know I do those and uh, you could just email me and let me know uh, Kevin Sullivan YouTube at yahoo.com is the email to email me for inquiries of one-on-one -on -one phone sessions and one-on-one -on -one via chat video chats email uh help, the help for help that you may need dealing with this uh these situ uh, narcissistic abuse uh period also as well also as well if you guys would like to email me just to email me you know about your situation or whatever it may be you want to email me for email me the email i made for you guys is as well that's why it's, it's kevin sullivan youtube at yahoo.com that's the email it's for you guys so email me feel free uh i reply to people comments and i reply to people emails all the time so feel free everybody have a great day and stay narcissistic free